Now that we understand how to conditionally render UI elements, let's take it a step further and learn how to protect entire pages from unauthenticated users. If you're signed out, try navigate to localhost 3000 slash user hyphen profile. You will encounter a clerk runtime error. User profile cannot render unless a user is signed in. What we need to do is protect this route so that only authenticated users can access it. The most robust way to protect routes in XJS is through clerk's middleware. As part of the setup, you've already created a middleware.ts file in the source folder. This is where you can configure clerk's middleware. Begin by importing a function called create route matcher from clerk. Next, create a matcher for the routes that you want to protect. Invoke the function and pass an array of routes that need to be protected. In this case, we want to protect slash user hyphen profile route. Let's store the return value in a constant called is protected route. Finally, pass a function to clerk middleware. The function receives the auth object and the request object as arguments. In the function body, we check if the request matches any of the protected routes. If is protected route, passing in request, and if it does, we call the protect method on the auth object. So auth.protect. We will need to await this and add the async keyword. Make sure to get your parentheses right as well. Protect method will redirect the user to the sign in page automatically if they're not signed in. In the browser, if we try to navigate to slash user profile again while being signed out, we will be redirected to the sign in page that is hosted by Clerk. Sign in with your credentials and you will be redirected back to slash user profile. We have successfully protected the user profile route. Now, in the middleware, you can also invert the protection logic. Instead of is protected route, create is public route. Our public routes are the root route, sign in route, and sign up route. In the clerk middleware, if not is public route, passing in request, await auth.protect. So the middleware will now protect all routes by default, and you specify which routes should be public. This is useful when most of your application requires authentication. In the browser, if we try to navigate to slash user profile, while signed out, we will still be redirected to the sign in page that is hosted by Clerk. Sign in and you can access slash user profile. Now, if you want even more control over what your application does based on user authentication status, you can use the auth argument in the middleware. Await auth to get the user ID and the redirect to sign in function. If the user is not signed in, so if not user ID, and the route is not public, so not is public route request, you can redirect to the sign in page. Return redirect to sign in. Make sure to destructure user ID. The same logic as before, but now you can add custom logic to run before redirecting. This could include logging unauthorized access attempts for security monitoring, routing users to region-specific sign-in pages, or handle maintenance windows for specific routes, whatever might be relevant for your application. Protecting routes is a crucial part of building secure and personalized web applications. With Clerk's middleware, the process is simple and flexible. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.